started last year, actually. The Silver Award Project is a, it's just a fantastic opportunity to, for the girls to get together and make a difference. And we started discussions of this last spring, um, trying to figure out what would be viable. We had some interviews with various people and discovered that it was a project that we really wanted to um, take on. And they have a lot to tell you. So the attitude of gratitude has been something I think that's really started to take shape. I'm Sabrina. Uh, I'm Holly. I'm Ava. I'm Charlotte. Okay. We are Hopkinson Girl Scout, 8th grade cadet Girl Scout shoot 68243. Thank you very much for this opportunity to share our Silver Award project in Attitude of Gratitude. Our goal in this project is to teach the Hopkin community about physical and emotional benefits of having a grateful heart. With special attention given to the Hopkin Middle School and working with the young children and children at the Hopkin Public Library, gratitude really makes us more happy with everything we have. Gratitude is an amazing property of the human mind. The more gratitude we feel, the happier we'll be. Gratitude helps us to reduce stress and increase productivity. It makes us feel much better about ourselves and others. But one of our very first thoughts in our project was how. How could one positive emotion impact our lives so greatly? It all starts with one powerful chemical called oxytocin, also known as one of the happiness hormones. This hormone can be triggered naturally through being with friends, family, playing sports, and lots more. One main thing that triggers oxytocin is gratitude. When participating in grateful activities, such as writing consistently in gratitude journals and making gratitude rocks, our relaxation levels increase dramatically. We become more energized and our sleep quality even increases. But the key to a grateful heart lies in the repetition. The more we show our gratitude, the more grateful we will be. To work towards our project's goals, we did some online research. We then met with psychologists Elizabeth Daniels and Kim Manning last spring in their Hopkinton offices to learn all about the positive effects of gratitude and created the trifold you see here to help us share about our subject. Next, we went, met with Ms. Ben Benick, assistant principal, and Ms. Grady, eighth grade English teacher and gratitude guru at Hopkinton Middle School to determine the best ways to deliver our message to the school. Since then, we set up a table at back to school night, constructed flyers with gratitude facts, and posted them throughout the middle school. The, and the art department contributed beautiful student art to the gratitude theme display in the main lobby. Most recently, the guidance department allowed us to contribute to Random Acts of Kindness Week by making and distributing 1,000 inspirational sticky notes for school lockers, creating gifts and gratitude bookmarks for English teachers and their students, and hosting an educational table where students and teachers wrote 70 thank you notes to the office staff, school nurses, and custodial and cafeteria staff. We have had many opportunities to reach the Hoppington community about our message about gratitude. We created gratitude rocks with fun sayings, and at the annual Girl Scout Fall Sing, we had children decorate them. These rocks help, pe help to remind people to think about a few things they are grateful for each day. Thanks to the hospitality of the Hoppington Public Library, we are allowed to display our project in the lobby there and held gratitude-filled raffles, which we have since distributed to three lucky residents. At Caroling on the Common, we displayed our project and sold gratitude ornaments. On Martin Luther King Day, we hosted, hosted a table where people could write thank you notes to give to friends, families, and teachers. We also talked about how wonderful the respite center is and gave people the opportunity to leave them thank you notes as well. We have many gratitude projects to come. We are happy to say that we will host workshops at the Hopkinton Public Library on these three dates, March 16th, 23rd, and 30th, for grades K through 5 from 3.30 to 4.30 upstairs in the children's room. We work with the kids to show them how gratitude works and how they can use it in their lives. We will, we will do activities like crafts with gratitude rocks, gratitude journals, thank you cards, and fun books they can read. We are excited to host a table at HMS March 20th, Rise Up Day, with information on the respite center for which our troop is especially thankful for. We plan to make a permanent appreciation station at the middle school where kids can write to their friends or teachers and also hope to make an online gratitude journal with gratitude prompts that kids can write in and reflect every day. We are trying to make a sustain sustainable project that can stick with people in this community. Thank you for listening, and I hope everyone can incorporate gratitude into their everyday lives. We have a poster we'd like to share with you, some of our favorite parts of this project, and we can answer questions now. That's awesome. Very nicely done, girls. Very nicely done. Thank you. Um, 
Mary Jo, why don't you start us off? Okay. Well, I want to congratulate you, and particularly with the theme, attitude is and gratitude. We need a lot more of that right now. Uh, I was going to ask you, what are you doing with your posters after today? Uh, uh, we display many of our posters at the Hopkinton Middle School, which is where we go to school along with um, some beautiful art displays completed by um, students at the school. We, we have elections right now, and we have people coming in and out of the town hall every day and for another week. Uh, and I would love to see you put them in the front hall, here at town hall, for a week. And then you can take them to the school. Would that be okay? Yes, that would, would be great. Be that? Okay. <laughs> awesome. And that is all right with you? We can put them down there. I do believe we make the rules, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And, and in fact, through, through the chair, I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for coming to Town Hall. I remember when I came in contact with you on MLK Day and extended the invitation for you to come before the board, and I told you everything will be fine. So far, you've done fantastically well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.